How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm working on a vehicle which had a intermittent cutting out problem. I was able to successfully diagnose that it was all related to incorrect timing. So I thought I'd make this quick video and show you how you correctly set up the timing in these 1.8 and 1.6 engines. So what you see here in front of you is the timer belt toolkit that you're going to need to successfully do this job. Whether you're doing a head gasket, cylinder head, camshaft adjusters, timer belt, you will need the correct tools on this one. It is a little bit trickier than others to set up the timing. I will link everything in the description and it is cheap. So go ahead and get that before you start this job. Okay, so firstly, let me show you this vehicle with the timing out of alignment. So this one had cylinder head work done on it, which, means, which meant the camshaft adjusters were removed. So when I first checked the timing with the rocker cover in place, the timing was actually okay. Everything was lining up like it should. But when I had the rocker cover removed and that locker bar put in at the rear, which you can see here, it wasn't capable of lining up so that that bar would not go in the correct position on those camshaft lobes and sit in and if you can see here um, with these close-up shots that i'm showing you can clearly see that it is out and considerably out of timing on that side on the left hand side as we're looking at it here so when you know what to look out for it isn't that difficult to do this job what you need to do is make sure that that camshaft locking bar can sit in correctly on them camshaft rear lobes so you want that to be able to slide in place nice and easy and on the camshaft sprocket on these camshaft adjusters you want the left hand side as we're facing it here to be higher than the right hand sprocket so you want that to be slightly higher on the left than the right in that first clip that i showed in the introduction it wasn't the case and that showed that the timing was out when the camshaft locking bar was in the correct position now on the bottom crankshaft sprocket um, the timing marks are very clear and very straightforward. You can put in a, a flywheel locking tool. I didn't use it. It's not really needed, but if you want to be extra safe, you certainly can go ahead and put that in position. So with the crankshaft sprocket all lined up, with the adjusters, the top camshaft sprockets all lined up, and that locking bar in place, you can be safe in the knowledge that you have the timing set up correctly and this vehicle will be able to run like it should, no performance issues, no cunning out, and no worries. And that is it for this video, guys. That is how you correctly set up the timing on these 1.8 and 1.6 engines. Now, bear in mind, to do a professional job, sometimes we have no choice but to get the correct tooling to do it. Whether we line up the timing marks before or not, it would be very difficult to be 100% certain just eyeballing these ones that the timing is correct. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it useful and informative. If you did, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.